Hi, I'm Chris Gornson. I'm faculty here at Heinz College. I'm going to talk to you about our starter kit and fellowship program for citizen-centered policy design courses and future public interest technologists. Our starter kit is based on our public interest technology framework, which functions much like an accelerator. We bring in new projects through our course called the Policy Innovation Lab, and then the most promising projects move on through a summer fellowship program, which finally can become official capstone projects for graduating master's students. This provides us with a way to continually vet and improve the best ideas around public interest technology, while providing a mechanism for these ideas to become actual viable products or even student-led companies in the future. Our starter kit and fellowship program provide an on-ramp for aspiring public interest technologists through hands-on practical experience-based opportunities. We also provide open access materials, resources, guides, and playbooks for instructors like you looking to build or enhance your own experiential-based public interest technology course. So let's talk first about the class. The Policy Innovation Lab is a course at Heinz College that prepares students to become new public interest technologists. We do this by first teaching new master's students how to design and build public interest technology services and products that are centered around principles of human-centered design, follow an agile methodology, and finally deliver a minimum viable product for high impact results. The course is available through Canvas Commons. So if you're looking to launch your own first public interest technology course or an enhance an existing public interest technology course, this can be a good resource for you. Our course works by partnering student teams with real world partners, usually government agencies or nonprofits to work on a problem together. Student teams are ultimately in charge of executing a plan to understand and to solve some aspect of a challenging problem faced by the partner, conduct weekly demos, user interviews, design and prototyping sessions. The teams then deliver a final minimum viable product at the end of the course. In the first year of our grant, we had 33 master's students working with nine partners. Since then, participation rates have continued to grow each year since this course has been offered. Another resource in our starter kit is the Policy Innovation Lab Playbook. The playbook was informed by our students' experiences and captures insights we think would be valuable for incoming students interested in public interest technology. Finally, we have our Public Interest Technology Fellowship Program. This provides promising students and the best project outcomes from the course a runway towards developing into real sustainable public interest tech projects and initiatives. The best projects from the course become full-time summer fellowships in the second phase, which then can become capstone projects for graduating master's students. One example of a recent project from the course was work done last spring in support of developing an artificial intelligence and machine learning anti-bias toolkit. That led to one of our other major projects coming out of the lab that then continued as fellowship opportunities for four students. So far, we've completed seven projects in support of external partners through the fellowship with 11 fellows working on them. Finally, projects can graduate through the Summer Fellowship Program to become full capstone projects like this one. Impact Green is now an open source green bonds investment platform available on GitHub. We've learned quite a few lessons along the way, and here's a quick summary of some of them. First, courses are time and resource intensive, which means that the load on instructors is greater than that of an average course. Scaling up courses to accommodate larger student enrollment can be difficult. Second, aligning on principles and beliefs between the partners and students can also be challenging, but can also lead to important aspects of the work and insights around public interest technology. Third, maintaining a focus on DEI considerations and building those considerations directly into the course is important, but will likely require additional university resources to support.
Want to learn more? All of our resources are available on pipcases.org and through our website. And with that, here's my contact information. Thank you.